Good day everyone, I am Ravi Prasamante and I am going to discuss Unit 4 Communicating Authentic Assessment Results, Portfolio as a Communication Medium. Portfolio Student portfolios take many forms and it is not easy to describe them. A portfolio is not a pile of student work that accumulates over a semester or year. Rather, a portfolio contains a purposefully selected subset of student work. It is a tool that brings together visual images to demonstrate what a child can do and how that child is communicating in daily activities. Purposefully selecting student work means deciding what type of story you want the portfolio to tell. The portfolio might contain samples of earlier and later work, often with the student commenting upon or assessing the goals. Portfolios and Authentic Assessment So, so some suggest that portfolios are not really assessments at all because they are just collections of previously completed assessments. But if we consider assessing as gathering of information about someone or something for a purpose, then a portfolio is a type of assessment. Sometimes the portfolio is also evaluated of, or graded, but that is not necessary to be considered an assessment. Um, there are some questions that are portfolios authentic assessments. Yes, the student portfolios have most commonly been associated with collections of artwork and to a lesser extent collections of writing. Students in these disciplines are um, performing authentic tasks which capture meaningful application of knowledge and skills. So their portfolios often tell compelling stories of the growth of the students' talents and showcase their skills through a collection of authentic performances. Portfolios provide an excellent vehicle for consideration of process and the development of related skills. So portfolios are frequently included with other types of authentic assessments because they move away from telling a student's story to a test course and instead focus on a meaningful collection of student performance and meaningful reflection and evaluation of that group. Nature and characteristics of portfolios. Here we are going to discuss it and we have seven. And the first one is multi-source. Allows opportunity to evaluate a variety of specific evidence. It is multiple data sources included for people, statements and observations of participants, teachers, or program staff, parents, and community members, and artifacts. Anything from test scores to photos, drawings, journals, and audio or video tapes of performances. Second is authentic. Authentic context and evidence are directly linked. So the items selected or produced for evidence should be related to program activities as well as the goals and criteria. If the portfolio is assessing the effect of a program on participants or communities, then the evidence should reflect the activities of the program rather than skills that were gained elsewhere. For example, if a child's musical performance skills were gained through private piano lessons, not through for each activities, an audio tape would be irrelevant in his for each portfolio. If a for each activity involved the same child in teaching other children to play, a tape might be relevant. Next is standard. It is capturing growth and change. It is an important feature of portfolio assessment and the, it is that the data or evidence is added at many points in time, not just as before and after measures. So rather than including only the best work, the portfolio should include examples of different stages of mastery. 
at least some of the items are self-selected. So this allows a much richer understanding of the process of change. Fourth, the portfolios must be explicit or um, its purpose and goals are clearly defined. So the students or program participants should know in advance what is expected of them so that they can take responsibility for developing their evidence. Fifth is integrated. So the evidence should establish a correspondence between program activities and life experiences. So the participants should be asked to demonstrate how they can apply their skills or knowledge to real life situation. Sixth is based on ownership. Uh, the participant helps determine the evidence to include and goals to be met. The, for, the portfolio assessment process should require that the participants engage in some reflection and self-evaluation as they select the evidence to include and set or modify their goals. They are not simply being evaluated or graded by others. Lastly, uh, the portfolio must be multi-purposed, allowing assessment of the effectiveness of the program while assessing performance of the participant. So a well-designed portfolio assessment process evaluates uh, the effectiveness of your for intervention at the same time that it evaluates the growth of individuals or communities. It also serves as a communication tool when shared with family, other staff, or community members. In school settings, it can be passed on to other teachers or staff as a child moves from one grade level to another. And that's all. And here are the uh, list of references that I used in this lesson. So that's all. Thank you.